A mixture of rain, sleet and snow through southern areas of the UK today. Further north, there's sunny spells and wintry showers. I'll have all the details of the warnings and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Wednesday. Just and snow observer, Laura, morning. It's just, I know we're this fine line with the world weather, but also whether it's exciting or not. For some people, the snow will be disruptive. Obviously, with the cost of living crisis, snow means it's cold, and this is bad news for the heating, but also for any kids or me waking up this morning and seeing snow like I did first thing, it's still very exciting. Uh, but we talked about it yesterday, how we're on this fine line between the warm and the cold, and this is the setup that we still have. This cold air driving down from the Arctic, meeting the warm air coming up from the south, and along this dividing line, it is a fine line, whether it is rain, rain, sleet or snow. We saw Louisa there at Westminster where she had snow. Just a little further north we had Sweeney in Euston where they actually had sleet. So the temperature of just a degree makes a massive difference. So we have a chart to show you where the risk of snow is for the next few days. For today, the risk of snowfall is in the south. This area here could see up to five to ten centimetres over highest to ground, one to two centimetres to lower levels. And we still have our snow showers for northern and eastern coasts, but not as high here, so not as disruptive in the south. It could cause some travel disruption, mostly because a few centimetres of snow is pretty rare in the south, and it causes people just to potentially drive less safely. But then there's a much more focus as we head through tomorrow evening and into Friday. The whole risk of snow moves northwards. North Wales, northern England, much of Scotland here, we could see 10 to 20 centimetres of snow, maybe 30 over higher ground. So this snow later this week that's moved further north is set to be much more disruptive. But here's the details for today. So many areas in the south waking up to a light covering of snow. This small Super Mare, Newport in South Wales. So right along that M4 corridor and south of there, that's where we're seeing snow this morning. Further north, it's beautiful and sunny, as we saw with Nick Dixon there first thing in Scotland. But boy, boy, is it cold. And in fact, it's so cold, we've had our coldest nights of the year so far, minus 14.4 degrees at Art Nahar. Good morning to you. The cold Arctic blast of air continues across the UK and it brings along this battleground Rain, sleet and snow. Talked about it yesterday, how this cold Arctic air is coming in from the north, mild Atlantic air moving up from the south. It brought with it rain as that hit and that is turning to snow through Wales later. So how do things pan out as we head through the next seven days? Well, it's a short-lived cold spell. Scotland, Northern Ireland, northern areas of England, temperatures are way below average, but things warm up as we head through to next week. Percentage chance of rain fall hell like we are to see wet weather. Well, it is cold enough that anything falling from the sky will be a sleet to snow mix through the next few days. But into the weekend. Fortunes further south for England and Wales for the next seven days. Again, it is cold, but it doesn't last for long. Temperatures recover in just the next 48 hours. Percentage chance of rainfall will sleet and snow today, but with the milder change comes much wetter weather later this week. Good morning. Many people waking up to snow first thing this morning through southern areas in the north. It is cold, frosty and sunny with a few wintry showers. But here's our latest radar showing where the snow has fallen all the way from South Wales along the M4 corridor down towards Kent, two to five. And I was lucky enough to go to NASA to see them training. When man landed on the moon in 1969, it was on Apollo. The mission to go to the moon for the first woman is Artemis, Apollo's twin sister. Very poignant, particularly on International Women's Day. Now, weather-wise, there is snow in the... Many people in the south waking up to snow this morning. This was the winter wonderland. So what is going on and why? Well, this battleground is set up. Cold air, we talked about it yesterday, driving down from the north, meeting this mild air from the south. Rain bumped into the cold air, causing snow. So here's what's looking like today. Today, for southern areas, for England and Wales, one to two centimetres widely, five to ten locally over higher ground, and the snow showers continue in the north. Tomorrow and Friday, the snow sh risk shifts north. North Wales, northern England, southern Scotland. So a reverse of fortunes as things turn drier in the south. But for today, we have a sleet and snow continuing. So the rain moves its way northwards, heads towards west parts of the Midlands, across Wales later on today. Further north, clear, cold and frosty, after what's been the coldest night of the year so far, with minus 15.2 degrees Celsius. 